right guys um promise is a promise so we got here the 5wk transaxle from the nissan e-power series which is let me remind you just a moment it's a crop. <clears throat> You want to remember that this transfer case goes directly attached into the internal combustion engine and in the back and only attach the motor generator number two the motor generator number one the outlet for the shafts the other outlet for the other axle all right so we are finally going to take it apart in this episode so we will continue then okay so the first gentleman we're taking out is the gear selector motor so we just three 12 millimeter bolts and that's it we also will take this apart later okay so let's continue All right so taking out this gentleman from here um, I realized it's a it's a brush directly touching into that shaft um, probably has to be definitely related to the position of the shift selector well just stay tuned and let's find out together all right after we cut and loose all this series of the bolts the complete housing should come out so let's find out and we'll continue as simplicity as it gets so this cover is ready to go out let's see what we find Second. Okay, sorry. Give me a moment. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that was my bad. Uh oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. So, this transfer case, it's definitely, as you can see, very very much dirty with metal so according to the vehicle owner's manual this transmission uses um, the S-Matic original automatic transmission fluid and yet still this vehicle is less than 30 30,000 kilometers and look sludgy of metal that only means one thing this component it takes a lot but a lot of stress now look at the look at the size of the gears look at the counter gear this is this one is the main shaft to the more generator one counter gear and the shaft direct to the internal combustion engine All right but then we have see Oh, this is the motor generator two main shaft with the counter gear and uh, oh, no, sorry it's a reduction gear and finally to the final drive but look at how much stress this transaxle takes uh, whoa well, anyway as I said as simplicity as it gets let's see what else we got here so we got okay this is our parking let's see Oh, that's it that's it she's completely locked so with this little rod over here being pushed by the motor being pushed by the motor it just activates the parking that's all parking release that's that's all what it does all right yeah, how about that okay so we're gonna take out the all those gears and county gears and uh, let's finish to inspect the rest of the bearings so we will continue then. All right, so we took out all the gears, uh, final drive, counter gear, reduction gear, main gear. All right, so we're watching each one of them. Okay, this one, of course, belongs to the MG2. This one belongs to the MG1. But uh, this really has me a little concerned. Uh, you have to remember that this vehicle is a little less than 30,000 kilometers with its original oil. Now, one thing we're real, realizing on this um, 
transfer case is that it doesn't use any it doesn't use any type of uh, oil pump yeah. absolutely nothing it's very very simplistic of course as each one of the bearings besides they use a separator washer I suppose uh, it has to be a certain uh, thickness in order to be on its proper position so we're definitely not gonna move them okay this was this over here this rod over here is just a I said just a parking release parking release so our parking gear main one it's right here as you can see so here's where the parking applies with its washer separating from the other side of the bearing of course even though I'm a little concerned about this definitely a very very high level of stress this transfer case receives you got to remember that the motor generators and the motor who drives the vehicle is a very very big and powerful motor so I'm not sure is the quality of the oil uh, I don't know if you just uh, tell me what you think in the comments all right so we'll continue then. Well guys, we're almost over with this Nissan Note e-Power series videos. Um, very, actually it's, it was a very, very interesting information what we got over here. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, so please share the videos and subscribe. Let's take a look at all these counter, counter gears. Let's see the right. Well, Time to assemble back and we'll continue then okay so now that we're um starting to assemble back this um the transfer case uh let's make some numbers over here we want to find out um how many times what is our gear ratio over here okay so let's take this let's take this point to this point all right so let's see if we could start spinning over here one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half. So 7.5 to 1 gear reduction is this transfer case from the generator number 2 to the final drive. That means that when your motor generator number, I'm sorry, when your final drive, where you, your wheels are spinning, um, one time the motor generator spins 7.5 times okay so let's make the numbers now with the generator number two let's assemble and we'll continue okay let's find out now our gear ratio between the generator number one to the internal combustion engine so let's take a look we want to get our guide over here this one facing this gentleman over here let's see all right so one, two point ah oh, two point three two point three times. Uh, well, it's not so much different. So okay, so every time internal combustion engine spins, motor generator number one spins two point three times. So there you got the gear ratio of this. Uh, transfer case from the e-power series let's just finish to assemble this and we'll continue then. all right guys one thing you want to be very much aware of is that before assemble back this main cover you want to make sure all your separator washers are in its proper position with maybe a little grease or whatever in order to hold them and make sure this little rod fits directly into this hole over here all right so well, we'll continue then Okay, so you remember this gentleman over here? Uh, well, apparently this is a this is a ground device, right? So there's there's full connection between the brush over here that touches this chat the shaft from the generator number two, counter gear, and chassis ground. Hmm, how about that? Eh? Let's find out. There you go. We have full connection. 
so it's just a, a, a ground device. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, so the ground device slips inside here. Let's see if you can see. There you go. See? You see it over there? There you go. That's it. So it touches directly the, the reduction gear from the generator number two. Uh, well, um, I'm going to be very honest. I don't know what's the purpose of grounding this um, device from the from chassis. Of ground, grounding it to chassis. Uh, well, if you know by chance, just let me know in the comments below, all right? Uh, we'll just continue assembling this. All right, guys. The 5WK0A transaxle case for the Nissan E-Power has been assembled back. Everything's proper precision. The parking selector, the grounder device. Please, I want to know what this is for. So if you know, please don't forget to send some any some information uh, via the comments. All right. So. It was a pleasure. Please like and share. I will keep making some great videos about hybrid, especially especially in the most recently hybrid uh, vehicles. All right. So have a great time, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.